Hi, welcome to our 21 days of prosperity. Today's mantra is shine. So we've talked a lot about how oftentimes you're the only scripture someone reads, or you might be the blessing that shows up for somebody else's prayer. So today's the day to focus on that. Every step that you take, imagine that you could potentially be the angel in the room, that you could be the person that's making the change in the room, that you could be the person that is walking down the street, that's noticing things that need help or people that need help. So today you're going to do things hopefully a little, well, if you're a great human being and you shine all the time, then this will be an easy day for you. But for a lot of us to focus on this, to focus on being the blessing all day long um, might be new territory. So as you walk, you know, the first day that we did this, we talked about love and how every footstep you should think, oh, I love you, tree. Oh, I love you. Now you're just taking it into more of an action plan where you become more in partnership with the planet, uh, more in partnership with a fellow man. Um, and you are going to act as if you have indeed a guardian angel on your shoulder whispering to you the right thing to do every step of the way. So it might look different if you pass a homeless man or woman today than it would have looked two weeks ago. Um, and it doesn't mean that every single day you have to give them something. It means that today you cannot just walk by without noticing that maybe there's something you can do. Um, and it requires thinking differently, right? Like a lot of times I don't like to give money. I'm, I, you know, in Santa Monica, California, a lot of times if you give money, it's going to go for substance abuse. And so, um, and I'm not saying that to stereotype, but there is a lot of um, homeless substance abuse going on in Venice and Santa Monica, a lot of it. So to ignore that would be foolish, but um, you can tell if somebody is in need of real help, if a dollar might really buy them a meal or if uh, maybe a meal. What I remember one time I was, it was incredible. I had pulled, this was in Santa Monica. I pulled into um, this back when I had a car. I'm now so green. I'm so grateful to be living my values and walking and taking public transport and riding a bike and taking e-scooters and all of that. But um, back when I had a car, I, <clears throat> I had uh, driven to one of my favorite Mexican food restaurants. Uh, you know, a girl from Arizona loves her Mexican food. And um, it's called Gilbert's El Indio. So if you ever are in Santa Monica, go visit Gilbert's if you want to taste some really great, um, affordable Mexican food. So I drove in my car to Gilbert's. I had had breakfast and as I often do, I can't eat, they, they have very generous portions. So I got the rest of it to go. Now there's usually somebody that I can give the other half of the meal to, whether it is uh, someone I know who's disadvantaged or someone I don't. So anyway, on the way back, I pulled into a gas station to fill up the tank. And there was a homeless man who was screaming at the top of his lungs and he he looked violent and uh, people were re really giving him a lot of space, but he was right next to my car, right? And, um, and I just looked at him and I said, are you hungry? He said, oh, I'm so hungry. And I said, um, I have some, some food, some Mexican food from Gilbert's, um, will you take it? And he, he gratefully took it. He, his, everything changed immediately. So, you know, sometimes they don't want food and don't push it on them. And, you know, if be clean about it, obviously in a pandemic, you know, you can actually, if you know you're gonna eat half of it, you could actually partition off the other half and or put it in a to-go to box even before you touch it. Um, but there, there are times where that's exactly what's needed. That person obviously, you know, um, 
he may have had other issues that need to be need more help than that but uh, clearly he was starving too so um today as you go about to shine and be the the light be the light in the room or walking down the street um you know just try some new things and allow yourself to think uh, more deeply about some of the issues that are right in front of you. Um, maybe even reach out to, you know, family members sometimes are suffering quiet lives of desperation. And there's um, a lot of people in trouble right now financially. 40% uh, of college uh, student loans are not being paid. Uh, 11 million people missed a, 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 house, a mortgage payment or a rent payment in September of 2020. So see if there's a way that you can start conversations. So shining doesn't just mean, you know, being still and shining. Woohoo, look at me, I'm a light. It's, um, it's kind of shining a light into uh, the, the dark and desperate corners of other people's lives. I want to share with you a meme too. So this is what I wanted to share with you. You must be the change you wish to see in the world. Now, we're all very familiar with this Gandhi theme and of course the great song that Michael Jackson made popular called The Man in the Mirror. So look at the man in the mirror today or the woman in the mirror today and see how you can be the change you wish to see. Are you interested in sustainability? You know, uh, I started the Earth Gratitude Project very seriously in 2010, the, the first uh, iteration of it in 2010, when right around Earth Day, like two days before Earth Day, the uh, BP oil spill started gushing all that oil. I think it was over 210 million gallons of oil, probably more than that, honestly. That was what was reported into the Gulf of Mexico. And my understanding was as I'm filling up my car with gas, is that they are drilling a mile beneath the Gulf of Mexico with untested and unproven recovery um, equipment to satisfy my oil addiction. And if I weren't buying it, it wouldn't be happening. So I do encourage you to take this idea of shine bigger and make sure that everything you hold dear that you are not, that you're in alignment in every aspect of your life. The first aspect is as a consumer. The second aspect is going to be as an investor. We'll talk about that more deeply if you do the 21 day program in the gratitude game. But I do want to seed this idea. So the first thing was for me to live my truth and my desire not to be addicted to oil and to find a way to uh, ride a bike and walk and take public transportation and have e-scooter access and lifts and all that sort of thing. That was the first step to, as a consumer to shift my behavior so I am not consuming it. But then the second step has to be to clean up my portfolio and make sure I'm not profiting from polluters too. So again, the first time you do this 21 days of prosperity, this shift out of um, you know, victim, debt, all of that into prosperity and abundance and creator mode is to get your mindset but the second time you do it, and I do encourage you to do it a second time, because if this is new to you, if all this is new to you, then you need to take it deeper. The second step is to make sure that you're not profiting from polluters and that your, it, your dollars, you put your money where your heart is too. 
because as consumers, we can do that. But if we're still profiting as investors or we're giving up our power and letting others invest for us, whether it's in our taxpayer dollars or our insurance plan or uh, even a managed portfolio, then we're still we're still putting our money where we it's out of alignment with our values. That's not shining. So this time around, shine, be the light, but start thinking about these bigger, these bigger ideas of how you can shine and be the light and be the change you wish to see. All right, thank you for joining me. I'll see you tomorrow.